if anyone's wondering or looking for a playthrough, you know. Um, let's go search for more. Fort Bulwark. I think I can do the Mace of Xenathar. Let's go do that. I think, from what I remember. You're the Grey Fox. Ah! You're... Take the mask off. I don't want to. Oh, what do you need? <laughs> he didn't. He just. Bye. <laughs> he just completely forgot who I was. No! Damn you! What? Get inside. Take it off. It's you. I've heard of you. You're the one restoring the Knights of the Nine, aren't you? Absolutely, sir. My name is Kennedy Soholan. Like you, I am a servant of the Nine, specifically of Zenithar. I came here seeking his mace. However, I could not pass the test. I'm just... I'm no crusader, but... That doesn't mean that I cannot serve Xenathar. In light of recent attacks, I've signed on to protect the chapel. I'm fair with a blade, and by my honor, I'll serve the Nine in any way I can. Okay, tell me about of your the views. the original divines, Xenathar is thought to be the most in touch with the mortal realm. Some legends say that Xenathar has close ties to Kinnereth, an idea that is supported by the manner in which the two gods' realms interact. Craftsmen devoted to Xenathar are able to create and profit from the materials provided by Kinnereth's natural world. The two work in harmony, the natural world providing for the craftsmen. One cannot revere Xenathar without acknowledging the power of Kinnereth. Obviously. Legends say that when Pelinal Whitestrike was slain by the Aliens, a messenger carried the mace to the human settlement of Leowen as a message. Centuries later, the master craftsman St. Calidus built the Chapel of Xenathar in Leowen as a tribute to the legend. When St. Calidus was laid to rest, those who prayed to Xenathar at his tomb began to receive visions of the mace of the Crusader. Legends say that when Pelinal Whitestrake was slain by the Aliens, a messenger carried the mace to the human settlement of Leowen <laughs> as a message. Centuries later, the master craftsman, St. Calidus, built the chapel of Xenathar in Leowen as a tribute to the legend. When St. Calidus was laid to rest, those who prayed to Xenathar at his tomb began to receive visions of the mace of the crusader good day okay let's go do this uh let's pray real quick too who the hell is that sabi counts mage and castle healer your servant oh my servant just go away Oh, okay. They're gonna be so mean. You're the gray fox. Oh my god. Ow. God damn it. Let's just wait. Wait for him to leave. <laughs> I, I literally can't still in here oh no there's so many of these wraiths go go maybe if i run go oh god there he is saint calidus ah! okay we're in i've knelt before the shrine of saint calidus in leowin and found myself transported to some sort of dark void
I can see the mace of Xenathar off in the distance, but there seems to be no way to reach it. According to Sir Ralvis, I must allow my faith in the Nine to guide me to the mace. So, essentially, it's not your faith in the Nine. It is the armor you're given. And so, one sec. Uh, take that off. Put that on. And we'll drop... I should probably drop something. Resist disease, resist frost. Let's get rid of those. Whatever. I don't need those. Um, there's actually nothing I can get rid of. Oh my god. Yeah, I dropped like most of it off. These 521 iron arrows probably probably a little uh, a little heavy there. And I'd just like to point out that the armor they give you is actually really good. Like surprisingly good. Like you'll see, this is four. The one I use four, but this one comes with uh, fortify restoration. And you'll see a path opens up, and that's because we're using the boots. And if you remember, these are from Kinnereth. Crap! <laughs> Why can't I remember? I believe these are from Kinnereth, and then this is the Mace of Xanathar, and like the. Like he was saying at the start, which I eventually figured out on my own in my first playthrough, is that they work together, right? They were kind of in tune with each other. So that's why his boots work to help you cross here. Just so you know, if you're wondering. And there we go, we've got the mace. I've completed Sir Ralvis's quest by recovering the Mace of the Crusader. I should continue to search for the relics that the other Ghost Knights were questing for. Oh crap, I'm over here. But the thing about this armor is that you can't use it with sin. So you can't wear the Grey Fox's mask, or the Grey Cowl of Nocturnal, I guess. And also... Where the oh god, you can't at the same time wear the crusader armor and the great cowl or anything that gives you sin for that matter. This guy's strong. Am I supposed to be impressed? Ooh. Come on, guys, keep swinging. Beautiful. After recovering the Mace of the Crusader, I found the minions of Umaril attacking the Chapel of Xenathar. They were all defeated, and Leowen's Chapel escaped desecration. I... I can't believe it. We survived! By the grace of the Nine, we survived! In no small part to you, Sir Knight. By your will and the will of the Nine, the Chapel of Xenathar is held against this blasphemer. Sir, I pledge my sword. I wish to join you in your quest to restore the Knights of the Nine and defeat this Umaril. I accept. I can only hope to match your bravery and valor. I am honored to serve by your side. Allow me to fetch more suitable equipment. I shall return shortly. Perfect. We've got people. We've got people. Oh yeah, repent your crimes, wicked one. See, like the cowl of nocturnals great but at the same time the worst <laughs> it's so annoying oh no why am i going to the priory damn it 